Hey guys, welcome back to my let's play of super, not super, Paper Mario. In the last episode, we um, made it here to Toad Town and we learned the fates of the Star Spirits and we met Merlon and got action commands. But as we try to make our way over here towards Kubro's Fortress, which is this way, these toads were blocking us, so... Let's go talk to Merlon, see what's going on with this. Also, uh, just by chance, also just something else to tell you. Um, I went off screen and bought this Attack FXA badge. It doesn't cost any BP. It basically changes uh, Mario's sound effects when he's doing stuff. I'm not going to equip because I don't care, but I just wanted to have the badge. Um, anyway, just some stuff to show here in Toad Town. Yeah, you can't do anything. Yeah, you can't, you can't go down, just to let you know. Um, here we have the bad shop. Hey, mister, you're a customer, aren't you? Dad's preparing to open the shop since I guess you gotta wait a little while. Hey, what's up? Good to meet you, bud. Ralph's the name. I'm starting me up a little business in Toad Town. I'm still setting up, setting up though. I want to see you back in here when I open, all right? Yeah, he'll be ready after chapter one. But, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, the only thing we can really do is talk to Merlon, although first I want to go to the Toad House and heal, because, yeah, I can kind of use it. So, yeah. Not, that's just really it. Alright, yep, we're all good to go. So now, let's go talk to Merlon. See what's going on with these toads. Come again? A strange toads walking the east side of Toad Town? That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never. I'll get to the bottom of this. Well, follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. All right. Yep. Yeah. Well, Merlin's gonna go see what's up. I told you that he can't pass. Take it off. Hmm. You aren't toads, are you? Um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. Oh, and. Big surprise. Arg! Hmm. Just as I thought. You had cool, Rose. How? How'd you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shucks. Black. Yo, great. We retreat for now. Mario, those bots are another than the Kubros. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Kubros Fortress. Oh, Mario, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Kubros Fortress, you'll need help from a blue shelled Koopa. This is a strange portent, and Koopa, you might find something that will clear it up. I re must return home now. Okay, so something in Koopa Village is going to help us get to Koopa Fortress. Anyway, let's go and start off Chapter 1, Storming Koopa Bros Fortress. Yeah, the, uh, the sections of this game, they're cut into chapters. There are a total of eight chapters in the game. Um, seven of which will be in the Star Spirit, and then the eighth one will be going after Bowser. Anyway, here we have a Koopa Troopa these guys um i guess we'll tattle because why not everyone knows who drew the best followers max is four the trails are hard yeah basically if you flip them over their defense it drops down to zero but while they're up um they can't do anything oh yeah and there's blocking each enemy is kind of different um, but that's just how it is. And they also have one. Oh, wow, I messed that up. Um, also, Koopas, they have one turn of vulnerability when you hit them, so, yeah. Anyway, done and done. Alright, so yeah, that's it. That's all the enemies. Um, that's pretty much all the enemies, anyway, right here. So, yeah, right here. I'm gonna cut this. See you in a minute. Undeal. Oh yeah, we got a mushroom. Cool. Alright. Nothing. Coin. 
battle. Oh, actually, um, how do we actually show off the hammer throw badge? Basically, we can throw our hammer. It's basically a way we can attack flying enemies with our hammer. It's it's kind of cool, I guess, but, I mean, if you're really kind of, like, don't want to use your ha If you really don't like jumping, I guess you can use it. Or if, like, you couldn't... I don't even know if this is, like, a thing. Maybe not really here, but, um, anyway. Blivers the blow that makes... Dizzy attack badge. Blivers the blow that makes an enemy dizzy and unable to move. Let's see. I mean, I have... Let's see. Uh, sure, I guess I'll equip that. I mean, not really... It's not like there's really much else to equip. Away here, and... Fright Jar. Need some pretty good items. Anyway, um... Yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah, this is also something that's gonna happen a lot. Um, we'll like get into uh, fights, or just we'll get so many items that we don't need them. So I'm gonna cut off, we'll toss away one of my mushrooms. Anyway, let's actually show off this dizzy attack badge. So yeah, we basically go in, and he is dizzy. That basically means he has a turn where he his attacks may miss, or either he just won't attack. Anyway, now I'm gonna cut this fight. All right, done deal. I think I'm actually gonna unequip the uh, um, the uh, dizzy attack badge just because uh, I don't really need it. You know, it's a cool badge, but I just don't. And also, um, you know, what, just to clear up some inventory space. I'm gonna use my goom nut just because why not? I could use it. Anyway, here we can't progress, so let's hit this and. This comes out, and it's a bridge. Hooray! We can now cross. And, uh, attack you. Another one done. Oh, and almost halfway to a level up, too. Ah. Alright, another one is done. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, this, this is something we can't really do yet. We need something here in order to get that star piece, but we don't have that certain something yet. Anyway, um, what do we have here? Sleepy Sheep. Okay. You know what? How about I use that in for this fight? Can you come here? There we go. Yeah, and this last one, since you can get money. Hooray. Alright, what do we got here? Koopa Totan's to the left, Koopa's Fortress to the right, Koopa Village is down. Now, Merlon said we had to do something in Koopa Village, so we're gonna head down here, but also something over here is if we go around this thing, it will spawn hearts. And we got a honey syrup over here. Anyway, so yeah, we're just gonna head on over down here to Koopa Village, because Merlon said we needed something to, in order to get over to Koopa Bros. Fortress, we had to go to Koopa Village first, so that's what we're gonna do. And... I can swear, one of these that you can hit. Anyway, here we have a puzzle. Hit... If you hit these in the right way, you'll get a badge. So, in order to get the badge, you have to hit these left, right, top. And there you go. We got the Attack FXB badge. So yeah, just like the other one that we get, that I showed off at the beginning of this episode. Uh, yeah. Anyway, here 
we're here in Koopa Village. Can it be? Are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village. I wish we could really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is in an uproar because of the fuzzies. You do know what fuzzies are like, don't you, Mario? They look like this. Eh, they look weird. Mean guys. They're really naughty. Oh no, stupid fuzzy, get back here with my shell. Yeah, these fuzzies are kind of causing problems. Anyway, if you hit them with their hammer, they'll, they'll go away. You can help these Koopas out. Oh, thank you, Mario. I owe you one. I just can't walk around without my shell and talk about embarrassing. Mario, be sure to keep your shell safe. The frosty is alright. Oops, you don't have one. I'll watch your overalls. Yeah, I will. Anyway, just jump on here and get that Koopa shell. Alright. Oh, you're the best. Thank you very much. Oh, hit that. Thanks, Mario. This shell was made made to order. That's why it fits me so well. I mean, how cool do I look? Cool. And hey, this guy. This guy. This guy is quite a character. Quiz. Check quiz. What's the name? A quiz on my game. You want quizzes? I got them. That fuzzy is floating in the midair. Take a look to the left. If you can't manage me to answer my brain-busting questions correctly, then... Yeah, 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 yahoo! I'll give you a stop piece. Wanna try a quiz? Sure. Now let's go to the question. Question. What is the name of Goombara's younger sister? So yeah, they're all questions that you should know. Anyway, her name is Goombaria. Correct! Congratulations! He's your star piece! Alright. Yep. You've correctly answered one question so far. Good luck next time. Well, well. So long. Farewell. Till we meet again. Yeah, he has an entire game show in himself. But, yeah, he basically travels around every single village. Um, and he'll give you questions to, uh, for a star piece. There he shows up 64 times in the game. I will be attempt- I will be getting- There is a way, like- there is a way to like get him so very easily where you can um there is a way where you can like Um, there, as I was saying, there is a way where you can, like, trick it out and kind of, like, get him to go show up, like, very quickly. Thank you, typical Mario Star. You're just as cool as I heard you were. Anyway, uh, to sh have Chuck Quizmo show up, like, very easily. And I will be showing it off. Um, although we'll have to wait on that for a little bit. But, yeah. Anyway, as we can see, there's something going on in that house behind us. I might have known. You're so clever, Mario. So, yeah. Anyway, what's over here? Oh, fuzzy. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's see what's going on in this house. Who's there? I'm kinda busy right now. What? Wait, could it be? Aren't you Mario? You are? My name's Cooper. Oh, I'm so sick to meet you. I was mean here, it's gotta be fate or something. I need a huge favor. I hope you'll help me out. This wild fuzzy took my shell, which next to my left is the most important thing I have. I can't go out and my shell, period. Way too embarrassing. You're outside right now, though. Problem is, the fuzzies are too fast for me to catch alone. If you don't mind, can you help me get my shell back? I'm begging you. Hey, Mario. Looks like he's in a bad way. We ought to help him out. Yeah. Fuzzy took my shell and just inside my house. I'll go to the door while you grab him like, whoop. Alright, yep. Well, don't worry, man. We'll help you. New York. Oh, come back here, you silly fuzzy. You ain't gonna wait for me. And oh, we made the first strike. Anyway, here we have fuzzies. These annoying little little enemies, they suck your HP. And wow, that was bad. They suck your HP. To replenish their for their attack, there is timing. Um, I did not get it. 
it's like very specific to the timing to if you can guard it you can prevent them from taking your HP I mean it really only affects them if you if they're like down HP like for instance that guy took another a bit of my HP but he didn't he didn't gain he doesn't like gain HP they just uh they just pretty much like it's not like they add it to their own they just like you only really use it to replenish their HP anyway let's head out here Oh, it's a whole grove of trees. Me York, me York, come get us if you can. Yeah, yeah. So here we have again. Me York is where I'm hiding. Say, so keep track of the shell. Right here. Yep. Yo, not bad jump. But that was just a warm up. New York is where I'm hiding. Yep. New York, New York, got me twice. Must have been luck. Now I'm serious. Yep, there we go. Mio, no! I give up, Uncle. Here, take this stupid shell. Yeah, we got Cooper Shell. You're too tough for me. I won't be bad anymore, I promise. Maybe. Huh, maybe. Anyway, we got Cooper Shell, so let's bring it back to him. Mario, there you are. I realize I have to take a stand against these fuzzies. If I can't get my own shell back, I'll lose my reputation. I don't even care that I have no shell on. I'm gonna show these fuzzies what's in that. What's what? You already got the shell back. Here you go. Oh yes, yes, this is my shell, all right. Oh yeah, no yeah, we got my shell back, uh-huh. You're, you're the greatest, Mario. I owe you big time. I'm glad to hear you happy. Say, Mario, I have an idea. Do you happen to know Professor of Colorado? Mm hmm? Naturally, he's a kubo with, with a professor in archaeology. He's known as an explorer. Right, well, I live next to him. I've been admiring Professor of Colorado ever since I was in my egg. Nothing would make me happier than traveling the world solving mysteries like he does. So, do you think, could I, please, take me with me, Mario? Come on. I'll help. Come on, let me go. What do you think, Mario? Should we take him or don't take him? I'm gonna take him. I'll take it. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm on my way. I swear I, Cooper, will follow you anywhere, even to the ends of the earth. Oh, you just might in the, with this. Cooper, join your party, yeah. Proceed down and make him throw himself, reach an item, or switch in the distance. While in battle, you can attack enemies on the ground with shell toss, or attack all enemies on the ground with power shell. When you want to switch your partner, proceed across and flick the member you want to use. So yeah, we have a new party member. Hooray. New York. I changed my mind, sucker. How about a fight? Okay. Yep. Anyway, we can show off Cooper's abilities right here. Um, he has Power Shell, which basically it attacks all enemies, just like that. Which that's pretty cool, I have to say. Darn it! I. Just, I can't get this timing. This timing is just ridiculous. Nope. Oh, great. Um. I mean. I mean, it's not like we're gonna get too hurt. Yeah, this is Cooper's other attack, Shell Toss. It's basically the same thing, it's just. It only attacks one enemy. Anyway, um. Oh, there we go, I got it. Of course, right at the end. Right when we're never going to attack Fuzzies again. And, oh, what? Okay. Anyway, yeah. That does it for those Fuzzies. We're done. It's over. Mew, no! We'll be good, we'll be good. Good, you better be. Anyway, here... Now we can now. Oh uh, yeah, this is Cooper's um, enemy. Uh, um, his ability and just the field. So yeah, just and just switch. We go like that. 
Anyway, hey, if I can get up here, switch to Cooper, and HP plus badge. Basically, this increases our HP by a certain amount. We basically... Oh, wait. No, I won't. Basically, we have to... We need to use 3 BP in order to get 5 HP. Which, I mean, at this point of the game, that's... If you're, like, really not that confident in fighting, I, I actually would recommend it. Especially if you like, if you're like me and you upgraded BP or FP first. Um, but, you know, that just depends on you. Anyway, now Koopa Village is peaceful, because the fuzzies are gone. But now, we actually have this star piece that we can get. Now that we, now that the fuzzies are gone. So yeah, that's good. That's the only thing we can do in Koopa Village right now. I mean, there are other things, but I'm not going to do them now, just because... We kind of need to wait for fast travel to become a thing, which that's not gonna be kind of that's not gonna be happening for a little while. Anyway, uh, let's also do something else that we could that we couldn't do with Cooper. Oh, actually, wait. Let's see how many. Oh, I got a bunch of honey syrups. You know what? Forget it. I'll just use this, and I'll use this thing up top because why not? Uh, first. First, use Cooper right here, and we got a star piece. We could not use, we couldn't get that when we came here five minutes ago. Anyway, and yep, nope, avoid you. All right, come on, Cooper. So yeah, now we can get this. Or now what's? I mean, we could have gotten this before, but. Good to go. And, uh, oh no, it's a trap. And oh, really? I got hit by the first strike. Really? Anyway, um, cut in this fight. Another item. This is a thunderbolt. And oh. Anyway, continuing on. No entry allowed, Mario. You're truly the Cooper as yet. So yeah, without Cooper, we could not have done this. We got a, a nice little bridge. Thank you. And a hit by the first strike. Sadly, you can't block first strikes, but anyway, we have new enemies here. These are paratroopers. They are flying paratroopers, I think. Yeah, so sadly, Cooper is not really helpful here. I mean, because he can't, he can, unlike in Mario, he can't hit flying enemies, so, yeah. That's kind of just the annoying part about Cooper. I mean, once, once they're on the ground, they're kind of fair game, but that's just the thing. And, oh. That's just the thing, like, if you're flying, fly, if you're fighting flying enemies, yeah, Cooper's pretty much useless. Or, I mean, he's not useless, but... You just, you can't hit them. Like, you're gonna have to use Mario. Or switch to another party member. Anyway. Jump. And Okay, that was a fail. There we go. Yeah, for some, I don't know, I guess, I 
I guess I'm just still getting used to the action commands. It's been a while since I played this game. Anyway, uh, continuing along, and I wanted this. All right, continuing further. We have a star piece. And how did that guy miss? Anyway, and it's a good thing. And you know what? We're actually time for do for a level up. So yeah, I'm gonna do H or FP this time. I mean, because we are gonna actually be needing kind of kind of a bit of FP or just more than five soon. So yeah. Anyway, we're starting to get near Kubero's fortress. All right, another done deal. Alright, so guys, as we end right here at this harp lock, um, I'm going to end this video off right here. If you all enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe if you're not. In the next episode, we will make our way into Cooper's Fortress and also just something else. We can't break this with Cooper, so yeah, we have to come back for this. Anyway, see you all next time. Goodbye. It's over.